Hi, welcome to online tutorial video from JCV Labs. Uh, this tutorial video is related to how to generate uh, uh, sine wave in ESP32 using ESP IDF programming on VS Code. So we also provide online training and do industrial and freelancing project based on embedded system, Android app development, MATLAB, LabVIEW. If you have any requirement, then you can contact us through our website www.jcvlabs.org or you can mail us at info at the rate jcvlabs.org. Now, here you can see this is our CRO and uh, digital pin uh, 25 is connected to. Uh, uh, CR uh, lead. So here, because tag one is uh, uh, tag application in generating sinusoidal wave. So let's start. Now I'm going to open my project directory where I am created my project now I am going to create new folder here I give name sign underscore wave And now I'm going to my blink project and here I am selecting this file control C and paste it in my project sign underscore Dave here. Now delete this build folder if it is not available don't worry and edit cmake list as our project name sine wave and save this go in main and delete this blink and create a text document file and open it and save as which is this is source file I am giving name sign.c and save it here and now this is source file is created now delete text file I am going to delete and edit C make list here it is not blink dot C it is now sign dot C and save this file and close it and open your VS code and now uh, I'm going to open folder and uh, here I'm going to here my project this is sine wave folder select folder here now you can see this is sine.c source file and now let's create program so some uh, header files are, are required so has include stdio dot dot h 
and hash include std lib dot h and third library is hash include this is required for sign function this is math dot h and hash include Or toes slash free or toss dot h and hash include. Or toss slash task dot h and hash include free or toss slash Two dot h has include driver slash gpio dot h and has include now include tag header file so driver slash dag dot h okay now i am going to define as define dag channel so dag underscore channel it is config underscore example underscore tag underscore channel it is by default uh, channel number one And now I am consider some variable int signal and take we are taking 20 signal in sign from sign wave so here 20 20 <coughs> samples now int i is equal to 0 and uh, void f underscore main this is main function now esp underscore ERR underscore T return and return is equal to DAG underscore 
आउटपुट इनेबल एंड पासिंग द आर्गुमेंट टैग चैनल इनेबल द टैग सो आई एम पासिंग हियर चैनल नंबर दिस इज एज डिफाइंड टैग चैनल इट इज बाई डिफॉल्ट चैनल नंबर वन एंड पी एस पी अंडर स्कोर पी आर आर अंडर स्कोर चेक एंड पासिंग दिस रिटर्न इफ एनी इर अकर्ड इट विल चेक सो फॉर इन फॉर लूप फॉर आई इज इक्वल टू जीरो कॉमा आई लेस दैन ट्वेंटी बिकॉज वी टेकन सैंपल्स ट्वेंटी सैंपल्स and i plus plus here now sigma of i is equal to um, we type cast the function of sign with integer and now sign sign 2 into pi and 3.14 into i into डिवाइड बाई हंड्रेड वन बिकॉज वी टेक वी वॉन्ट फाइव क्रोर्ड्स हियर यू कैन सी एंड जनरेटिंग गिविंग दिस इज वन किलो हर्ड्स यू कैन सी एंड जनरेटिंग फाइव हर्ड्स यू कैन सी so and uh, shifting this 1.0 and multiply with 127.5 and because uh, our dag channel uh, is a uh, dag uh, it is uh, 8 bit so it uh, it is going to 255 uh, so <clears throat> yeah 255 divided by 2 127.5 now in in while loop in while loop for i is equal to 0 i less than 20 and i plus plus dag underscore output voltage and passing the argument dag channel comma dag output and dag output sig of i so and providing some delay to be task delay one 
now everything is if it is fine so now i am going to compile this now i am going to compile this here this is this is building this project file now build successfully now i'm going to flash this uh, code in esp32 so here this is flash button so click here it is now flashing and now you can see here our sign wave on cro this is our sign wave you can see here successfully created see on cro so everything is here how to implement sign uh, signal on cro using dac in esp32 using esp idf programming uh, we also provide online training and do industrial and freelancing project based on embedded system and android app development matlab lab view if you have any requirement then you can contact us through our website www.jcvrlabs.org or you can mail us at uh, info@jcvrlabs.org at thank you very much